Call of Duty Vanguard launches November 5th. Just watched the trailer, and it looked good. Very good. I actually might just play it. So, first details on campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and the new Warzone map. Alright, we're thrilled to give PlayStation players the details on the latest Call of Duty title coming this year, as we just revealed in Call of Duty Warzone. Players will be able to experience World War II combat like never before, as the award-winning Sledgehammer Games introduces Call of Duty Vanguard, scheduled to launch worldwide on Friday, November 5th, for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, and also Xbox, PC, I assume. There is a ton of great content coming with this game, and we like to share just a few of the details with you here. Witness the origins of Special Forces as you play a pivotal role and change the face of history, forming Task Force 1 in a gripping campaign across four major theaters of war. There's more, too. Compete in 20 multiplayer maps at launch. Dive in the first ever crossover Zombies experience and prepare for full war zone integration, including a new massive map. All right, lots of exciting things. There are a few SKUs for the PlayStation players to choose from, as well as incentives and benefits for pre-ordering on PlayStation. Finally, for those playing on PS5, one of the benefits is experiencing the visceral sensations of war in a deeply immersive way with the DualSense wireless controller. Let's dive into the details of Call of Duty Vanguard. So, they're going to use the DualSense controller. That's cool. That is the best controller. It can do a, real, a lot of cool things. Hopefully, they take advantage of the microphone. I'm sure they'll take advantage of the adaptive triggers and all that. It's going to be really cool. Change the face of history. Experience combat through a story of the multinational soldiers who came together to form Task Force 1 and set the stage for Special Forces as we know it. These are the heroes of Call of Duty Vanguard. Sergeant Arthur, Arthur Kingsley, 9th Parachute Battalion, British Army. Lieutenant Olena Petrova of the 138th Rifle Division, Red Army. Lieutenant Wade Jackson, Scouting Squadron 6, United States Navy, Private Lucas Riggs, 20th Battalion, Australian 9th Infantry Division, British 8th Army. Through the gripping narrative and remarkable journey of these steeled soldiers, players will experience influential battles across the four theaters of war, world, world War II. As they engage enemies across the eastern and western fronts of Europe and fight for the free world throughout the Pacific and North Africa. Multiplayer brings 20 launch maps and more. Expect a huge day one multiplayer offering as Call of Duty Vanguard launches with 20 maps across a wide variety of environments, including 16 built for core gameplay. Prepare for signature Call of Duty action as you rise to the ranks in your journey to become one of the original Special Forces operators. Sledgehammer Games is bringing plenty of multiplayer innovations too. Customize your weapons like never before using the Advanced Gunsmith. Experience a new caliber system, which brings immersive and reactive environments to a new level, as well as having an impact on destruction and fire rate. Plus, experience a new generation of the Seminal 2v2 gunfight mode, first introduced in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Learn more during the worldwide multiplayer reveal coming soon, including info on the forthcoming open beta. The first ever zombie crossover experience. Discover the unspeakable horrors of the precursor to the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War zombies while holding off the relentless onslaught of the undead. Led in development by Treyarch Studios, the cooperative experience continues the dark Aether story to create deeply engaging lore, all while innovating the core gameplay that the mode is famous for. Expect more details on the Call of Duty Vanguard zombies as Hollow's Eve approaches. Warzone brings a new map. With development led by Ravens Software, Warzone is set to make Call of Duty history with a brand new main map launching later this year, as well as a full integration between Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone. 
prepare for the most connected Call of Duty experience ever seen, as Vanguard and Warzone host free post-launch content, including a massive calendar of new maps, modes, playlists, and limited time and seasonal events, as well as community celebrations integrated between the two games. Stay tuned for further details about the integration between Vanguard and Warzone in the weeks prior to launch. A cross-gen connected experience. Vanguard is cross-generation title, meaning players can party up with friends on PS4 and PS5, same for Xbox, for a truly connected experience. And when you move over to a PS5 console, you'll take your profile, progression, and stats with you. Same thing on Xbox. The Battle Pass system also returns, allowing you to unlock post-launch content with unified progression across both of Call of Duty Vanguard and Call of Duty Warzone. As always, you can unlock items based weapons, customization items, and more simply by playing the game. Build action with the DualSense wireless controller. The heart-pounding intensity of global warfare is at your fingertips, literally. Call of Duty Vanguard puts players in the midst of battles around the world. For those players experiencing on a PS5 console, one of the additional benefits will be the DualSense controller will help make those battles all the most, all the more visceral and exciting. From large bombastic moments to the smaller, more tactile sensations, both of the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers of the DualSense controller will deepen the incredible immersive gameplay experience of Call of Duty Vanguard. Now that is true. I also hope they use the microphone because that would be even more cooler. So yeah, it's gonna be really cool playing this game on the PS5 controller. Stay tuned for more. Expect a colossal calendar brimming with free post-launch content, including no a new multiplayer and zombies maps and modes, seasonal events, community celebrations, and much more. Stay tuned for information coming soon. Pre-order Call of Duty Vanguard now for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, both Xboxes, and PC, launching globally on November 5th. Additions to choose from and pre-order bonuses. For those PlayStation players wanting to pre-order, there are three distinct digital editions to choose from. Standard, 60 bucks in America. Cross-gen bundle, 70 bucks American price. Um, you can also see the European price. And the ultimate, $100 American. Check out the PlayStation Store for details on each edition. Any digital edition, whether you pre-order a standard cross-gen or ultimate digital edition, you receive the following. Early access to the Call of Duty Vanguard open beta, but it will be first on PS4 and PS5. Night Raid Mastercraft Weapon Blueprint for immediate use in the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and War Zone. And that gun is insanely cool. You can see that gun at the end of the Vanguard trailer. <laughs> it's really cool. Operator Arthur Kingsley to receive later for use in the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and War Zone. Frontline Weapons Pack, the opportunity to preload the game before launch. Well, I would hope that you could preload the game before launch. All right, um, this base physical edition to the Call of Duty Vanguard also available for pre-order. Um, same price. Um, so, yeah. So if I click on this. All right, so Call of Duty Vanguard, here we go. So for 70 bucks, PS5 slash PS4 version, um, five hours of, I'm assuming that's double XP, Frontline Weapons Pack, Operator Arthur Kingsley, um, Early Multiplayer Beta Access, Mastercraft Blueprint for the gun in Call of Duty um, Warzone and Black and uh, Cold War. Um, the Ultimate Edition for 100, everything this has, but also, let's see, a Vanguard Battle Pass bundle. That's different. Um, another, well, five hours of double XP and five hours of TW XP. Is that Warzone XP? I'm not sure. And then you have a Task Force One pack. That's, that's an addition. And... 
Yeah, so for $20 more, you get the Vanguard Battle Pass bundle and five hours of double XP and a Task Force One pack. The Standard Edition is the same as the Cross Gen Edition, except for you do not get the five hour two WXP. You don't get that with the standard PS4 edition. So what is included in the Vanguard Battle Pass bundle? What is included in the Task Force One pack? That is the question. And I don't know what is in those packs. So, well, if I knew what was in the Vanguard Battle Pass and the Task Force One pack, I would see if it's worth 20 bucks. Unfortunately, I don't see where you can find the information at. So until then, I really can't say. But I'm assuming that most people will be getting this version because of the Vanguard Battle Pass bundle and the Task Force One pack. All right, so there you go. If you haven't seen the trailer, watch the trailer. I upload, I upload the video. It actually looks really good. It really does. I'm actually um, looking forward to playing it. So, there it is. Call of Duty Vanguard. Pre-orders available now. PlayStation, Xbox, PC. And it's going to be good. It's going to be good.